46 is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. News is also brought to you by Assemblyman James Oscarson, the voice for veterans, seniors, and education, now and in the future. The conservative choice, fighting for your rights. Paid by the committee to re-elect James Oscarson. News is also brought to you by Lorinda Whitman for Nye County Commissioner, District 1, a qualified and dedicated professional who understands our challenges and is here to serve the people. Vote to re-elect Lorinda Wickman for Nye County Commissioner, District 1 paid for by the supporters of Lorinda Wickman. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, an elderly man dies in a home fire. Police conduct a pit maneuver to end a pursuit, and a suspicious substance is found inside a mailbox. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Monday, June 20th, 2016. I'm Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. The State Fire Marshal is investigating a structure fire that occurred yesterday in which a body was located inside the recreational vehicle that was being used as a residence. Dispatch report of a structure fire yesterday that while the initial address was listed as incorrect, it actually was found on Windy Lane. Crews arrived on location, found a fully involved travel trailer which had been converted to fixed use structure. The status of the occupant was unknown uh, as they first arrived. Heavy fire conditions warranted a, a scene size up risk assessment. They found that they couldn't enter into the trailer to begin with because of the heavy fire. So they commenced what's called an exterior defensive attack. Large amounts of water, short period of time. Quickly controlled the fire, which then allowed them, because of the size of the trailer, to do an exterior primary search. Thus they found an, an occupant who had, obviously it was deceased as a result of the fire. Uh, do you guys know at this point if that was the only person that was living inside this home? We've been in contact with the family of who we believe was occupying the structure at the time of the fire. And they have all indicated that the individual is pretty much a, a loner, as described. He resides there, doesn't have many visitors. So we believe that the occupant that we found yesterday will in fact be the occupant who's supposed to be residing there. That is part of the investigation that's ongoing today with the coroner's office, the sheriff's office, the Deputy State Fire Marshal and Prompt Fire Rescue. Um, there was a report that there was somebody outside the structure for a short period of time. Did that ever actually follow through? We don't believe that. Uh, well, we're actually, it's uncertain whether the occupant was outside the structure at any point in time. We're uncertain as to actually who telephoned and reported the fire. So that's part of the ongoing investigation. There were people in the immediate area as the first arriving fire apparatus, which, uh, by the way, we arrived within six minutes, so it's a timely fashion quick water. However, that type of fire in that scenario just wasn't survivable. We weren't aware of any occupants inside. Uh, we did a defensive attack onto the trailer because it was so fully involved. Um, after the initial knockdown, uh, crews on site found the body. You don't know the cause of the fire at this time, do you? No, we don't. And police have arrested a California resident, a man by the name of Cheyenne Adipour, who appears to be a member of a band called Nothing Head from Oregon after he led Nevada Highway Patrol and the Nye County Sheriff's Office on a pursuit coming in from Las Vegas. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has told News 46 that the drug tests from the man have came in presumptive positive for marijuana and opioids. This morning we caught up with Nye County Sheriff Sharon Worley and Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Well, we had a, uh, a medium speed chase. Uh, NHP tried to stop a vehicle uh, down the way a piece and uh, the guy just wouldn't stop for him. And so we ended up following him and uh, we tried twice to stop him, he wouldn't stop. So he came on up here and he was uh, a victim of a pit maneuver. And uh, then after that, uh, he tried to back up through one of our patrol cars and. Then he decided he was going to rabbit, so he jumped out of the car and started to run. 
And so you guys caught him on a foot pursuit? Uh, yes, but he didn't get very far. He got four or five steps, that's about it. We have medics here on scene. Any of our officers hurt? Yes, we have one officer that hit a median and hit his head on the dash. And so he's so, going to be transported? Yes, he's going to be checked out at the hospital. And then um, the uh, person who, the suspect who you were pursuing, are they being checked out by medics? Uh, they have been checked out by medical. Do you know the reason why they want it stopped? No idea. It's a California plate. Are they residents here in town or they just happen to take our side streets? Because it seemed like they were going to be going straight through to California. This is a California person that went to Vegas, went to Vegas. Uh, and then came out here. And then um, how many cars were damaged? Because I know that a couple of the cars got hit, right? Uh, the one car that you see next to the vehicle did a pit maneuver on it. There was no damage on either vehicle at the time. And then uh, the suspect decided to back into our patrol vehicle. We were dispatched a request by the sheriff's office for a follow-up on a, what we believed it was a high-speed chase that may have occurred outside the area of Pahrump. Ended up in the winery section of, of the, our town today. Upon arrival, we found numerous police vehicles. It was centered around a primary uh, vehicle owned by another. We were asked to evaluate a deputy, which was done in a transport, was completed for that deputy. We also assessed the second patient on scene who declined any medical transport or treatment and thus retained was in the sheriff's uh, custody, care and custody. During the time that you were having him secure the paperwork, he was crossing out a whole bunch of lines. Um, did he seem that he was confused about what he was signing or what he was doing there because some of the statements that he made was he thought he was being escorted? Well, I believe that's part of their ongoing investigation with the sheriff's office, but clearly the uh, person wasn't the most cooperative soul. And uh, so we worked through that process and again, he decided that he didn't want to be treated or transported medically. And Chief Lewis updates us about some powdery material that was located inside a local mailbox this afternoon. So around 1.30 this afternoon, we were dispatched to the area of Manzanita for an unknown type substance found in a mailbox. Upon arrival, we found, in fact, that they had cleared the material from the mailbox by using water. However, had collected a small sample, which had been placed to a glass jar. Crews obtained that sample. We're now in the process of testing it to determine exactly what it was. It is not thought to be an immediate life threat or an, a, a safety issue at this time. It's also being investigated by the Nye County Sheriff's Office. Your Desert View Hospital Health Tip after the break.